this Mass. Today we celebrate the feast of our patroness, St. Dorothy. She is the patron saint of brides, florists, and gardeners. She refused to deny her faith and was tortured by the governor in order to be executed. On the way to the place of execution, she met a young lawyer named Theophilus, who mockingly asked her to to send him fruits from the Garden of Heaven, where she would soon be. When she knelt for execution, she prayed, and an angel with a basket of three roses and three apples appeared. She sent them to Theophilus, telling him that she would meet him in the garden. Theophilus converted to Christianity and later was martyred. In honor of St. Dorothy and her example of steadfast faith, we, the the students of St. Dorothy Catholic School, will present to her roses and apples as we celebrate her feast today. The celebrant at this Mass is Father Ron. Please stand and welcome the presence of Christ in the people standing next to you. Please join in singing our gathering song. Meet me in the garden where the roses ever grow where the harvest is abundant where living waters flow come meet me and the father he has called you each by name oh meet me in the garden from whence the roses came Where celestial fruits abound Where the hurting all find healing Where all the lost are found Come rest in peaceful splendor Without sin and without shame Oh, meet me in the garden From whence the roses came Till then I'm looking downward, giving comfort on your way. I will lay a path of roses each and every time you pray. So come gather at the altar, lay your troubles at our feet, and receive the love of Jesus where earth and heaven meet. The garden at the table of the Lord where the wine and bread are offered where together we're restored in the garden I'll be waiting till together we exclaim come meet me in the garden from whence the roses came yes meet me in the from whence the roses came. Meet me in the garden.
garden where the roses ever grow, where the harvest is abundant, where living waters flow. Come meet me and the Father. He has called you each by name. Oh, meet me in the garden from whence the roses came. garden where celestial fruits abound where the hurting all find healing where all the lost are found come rest in peaceful splendor without sin and without shame meet me in the garden from whence the roses came Until then, I'm looking downward, giving comfort on your way. I will lay a path of roses each and every time you pray. So come gather at the altar, lay your troubles at our feet, and receive the love of Jesus for earth and heaven meet. garden at the table of the Lord where the wine and bread are offered where together we're restored in the garden I'll be waiting till together we exclaim meet me in the garden from whence the roses came meet me in the garden from whence the roses together we exclaim come meet me in the garden from whence the roses came meet me in the garden from whence the roses came what a beautiful and glorious morning it is here on the feast of saint dorothy our patron saint who in her love for our Lord gave her own life. What a beautiful testament that is um, to the love of Christ. Let us imitate her um, in her great joy for Jesus. Let us begin this celebration in the name of the Son, Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God in communion with the Holy Spirit, be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us now take a moment to call to mind our sinfulness, and therefore prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my sins. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Almighty and merciful God, who brought your martyr, blessed Dorothy, to overcome the torments of her passion, grant that we who celebrate the day of her triumph may remain invincible under your protection against the snares of the enemy. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers speaking for the others said, what do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death he said, you accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport. He put out his tongue at once when told to do so and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. 
It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of his laws, I disdain them. From him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage, because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. When he was near death, he said, It is my choice to die at the hands of men, with the hope God gives us by being raised up by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert, those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled. St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, through the law I died to the law, that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, yet I live no longer I, but Christ lives in me. Insofar as I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Jesus takes his disciples up to the mountaintop and they just sit down and talk. How incredible is that? Could you imagine Jesus saying, let's go on a hike. Let's go up to the hills in Glendora and just sit down and let's chat. How would you feel if he invited you on that little trip? Happy, man, my heart would just be on fire. How would you feel if Jesus says, let's go on a walk. Let's just go sit up in the green hills of Glendora and look at everything. And let's listen to the birds. Maybe a deer will pass by or maybe even a bear. How would you feel? Excited indeed. What about you? How would you feel? Blessed. My goodness. The glory of our Lord who just wants to hang with us. He says, let's just, let's just be friends. Let's just hang out. And he always promises, we heard in today's reading, that he has authority over everything, over all the heavens and all the earth. So everything he teaches us is the truth. And he teaches us that he loves us so much and he always wants to be present with us. That's a great gift. Um, he was present with St. Dorothy, um, as she lived her life, and she loved him deeply. And even in the midst of her troubles, she always says, I've got no worries because Jesus is with me. We all struggle with different things sometimes, um, but we recognize that Jesus places himself near us. And he says, let's just hang out. Let's just remember that I've created you to be at peace, to enjoy life, and to walk with me. He also tells us 
to share that message with everybody we encounter. We don't always do that. Sometimes we forget. When I'm excited about something, I'm always telling everybody. I got more stories. Um, I think I drive them crazy over at the office because I've always got some sort of look at Mrs. Ferguson's going like, yes, this guy's got like more stories. He's telling me more about. But when I'm excited about something, I want to share about it. And I'm excited the way Jesus has worked in my heart throughout my whole life. This morning I was in prayer um, just beyond this wall. The Blessed Sacrament is there. And I was just sitting in the silence at about 7 o'clock. And I'm going like, man, I could just stay here forever. Recognizing that Jesus is right there. I felt such an incredible peace knowing that God walks with us. And he walks with the whole community. And I pray for this community on a regular basis. We as a community are called to come together and to bring forth Jesus to the world, especially the world here in Glendora. Um, our parish, I don't know if you guys know about it right now, we've been passing these things out. Have you guys seen any of those? It's got a picture of St. Dorothy on there. How incredible. Um, it's got a couple of pictures. There's a picture of me in here talking to some of you guys. I'm not sure. Maybe if you take a picture, maybe you're in there. It's got a picture of our church out front. It's got a picture of the whole community praying together. And we've come together as a community to say, how are we bringing Jesus to Glendora? How are we bringing Jesus to one another? Do I have a responsibility to bring Jesus to those I encounter? We as a, as a parish took a survey about eight months ago, nine months, um, which guided some of the things that came together in this document, which talks about what is the purpose for St. Dorothy's? What's our purpose here? What are we doing? Are we just come hang out? Or do we have a role to play in the kingdom of God? From what everybody shared with us, they said, first of all, our purpose is to recognize that Jesus is present in the Eucharist. And that we're a Catholic community called to share his word. That's what we do. We recognize Jesus in the Eucharist. And we share his presence with those we encounter. And we make opportunities for each and every one of us to know Jesus a little bit better, whether it be in the classroom or whether it be in some of the ministries um, throughout the parish, we're called to do that. And then you shared with us um, some core values that came out of everything that we are. And the first and the largest core value that, that we expressed as a community is that we understand the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist that he transforms the body, or the, the bread and the wine into the body, blood, and soul, and divinity of himself. And he makes his self-presence so that we can hang with him, so that we can consume him, and so that he can be present with us. We all th also said as a community, it's very important that we recognize everybody is created in the image and likeness of God. Regardless of who they are, how old they are, young or old, what country they came from, what they look like, what they think of, that absolutely everybody, everybody, created in the image and likeness of God from even before they were born all the way until the time that they died and live on in eternity. It's very important for us to recognize that on a regular basis. I'm called to care for my brothers and my sisters. We also said, right here, that it's important for us to be like Christ, to act out as Christ, to love one another, to help each other in ministry, in service, 
to even help those who don't belong to this church, to help anybody in God's presence. And then we came up with three jobs. We said, how are we going to do all of this? I don't know. It's a big job, right? Okay, you're in charge. You call me in a week and tell me what's happening. We brought together a whole lot of people. Good thing, huh? Yes, indeed. That's what I was saying, because I'm going, I don't know if I can do all of this. But we brought together a whole big group of people, and they said, one thing, you know, we need to, to really learn to do to the best of our ability here at St. Dorothy's is just to welcome each other. Say, I'm glad you're here, Maria. Yeah, me too. I'm glad you came today. I saw you from all the way up there, and I was smiling. I'm going like, yes. And I need you to hopefully be glad that I'm here, maybe. <laughs> but we need to welcome one another, invite one another in. When was the last time I invited somebody to join me at Mass? How many people did I invite to the open house for the school? How many people did I invite to join us at our feast day today? I'm called to always be inviting in absolutely everything we do. All right, step two, what were we doing? Do you remember? Oh, you were supposed to be helping me out. Communication. We're always supposed to learn how to talk with one another. If there's something on your heart, you've got to share it. We have to share with each other how Jesus works in our lives. How special he is in the midst of my prayer. How special he is when he's here at the altar, when he's here in the midst of his community, when he works in and through those who guide our young ones in the school. Very important that we remember that. And then we had one more. We got this, right? I knew we did. We have one more um, priority that we, that we thought was good. It's, it's a call to renew who we are as Christian Catholics, not only here at St. Dorothy's, but throughout the Archdiocese. Um, and we're going to be looking for, for the help of everybody um, in the parish. I mean, through this call to renew, we're going to make sure that we support vocations to the priesthood. We need more priests. I don't know. Maybe, right? You never know. Maybe, uh, for sure. We need some sisters. We need help in our prayer, in our leadership, um, in the church. So we're going to focus on that. We're going to focus on our youth, our young ones, because you are the presence of the church today. Okay? You're going to be the leaders. Soon one of you guys might be saying Mass up here, guiding us. I don't know, who's the next principal of St. Dorothy's School? You got this? All right. He's, 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 he's running for your job. Be careful. <laughs> but we're called to look after our young ones. We have a responsibility to teach them leadership, to teach them of the church, to teach them of God's presence in their heart. And how do they do that? We're called to evangelize, bring Jesus' mission um, here to St. Dorothy's, here to Glendora, here to California, here to the United States, here to his world. How do we do that? For 20 years, we've talked about this space in which we worship. 58 years ago on Christmas, I believe, was the first Mass on this altar. A community of individuals came together to gift us with this altar, to gift us with this building, to gift us with the parish hall and the school and the rectory. It was a long time ago. I was just a little boy, really little. What are we doing for the little ones, for their grandchildren 58 years from now? Not my job, Father. I got everything I need. It's all around me. I don't need anything. Will there be anything left for them, or do we have a responsibility to build for the future? Do we have a responsibility to plant the tree so that they have fruit to eat? We do. 
them. So what a glorious thing on this, the feast of our, of our patroness, St. Dorothy, we recognize the presence of Jesus in our community. We recognize the glory in which um, he allows us to be present. We share that on a regular basis. And we make sure that it's here for those who come after us. Because your grandchildren are going to go to church here, maybe, right? Grandchildren, she's going like, my goodness. Ugh. But we have to make sure that they have a place to worship, that they, that they know the God of all creation, that they have the opportunity to receive Jesus in the Eucharist, to consume him and to take him out into the world. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in God's love, we approach him with our needs and the needs of our world. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For missionaries serving in foreign lands, may God grant them strength and compassion and fortify them in their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working to bring about peace and to serve the needs of all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who suffer because of natural disasters, may the Lord provide what they need to restore their lives, homes, and livelihoods. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this school and faith community, that in the example of our patroness, St. Dorothy, we may live out our faith in, courageous, in faith courageously forever in pursuit of God's mercy and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have an increase of vocations, especially in the archdiocese, for men and women, 
May God inspire them to follow his call, and may he give them the gift of understanding to discern their service in the church. In the priesthood and the diaconate, our consecrated life, especially our seminarians, Deacon Enrique Pisano and Tommy Green. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering from physical illness or emotional distress, that they may know that God is for them in their need, especially for Darlene Allers and Emilio Sanchez. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The souls of the faithful departed. May the Lord in his mercy welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of this Mass, for the parishioners of St. Dorothy's and those who visit and worship with us, and also for the happy repose of the soul of Cynthia Scalise, and for the intentions written in our book of prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look with favor upon us, your children, and hear the prayers we ask this day through your Son, Christ our Lord. in singing our offertory song, Litany.
Saint Timothy, Saint Elizabeth, Holy Mary, Ora pro nobis, One Die. Catherine Drexel, St. Francis, St. Lucy, Ora Pro Nobis, St. Saint Dorothy, Saint Dorothy, Saint Dorothy, Ora pro nobis. Saint Dorothy, Saint Dorothy, Saint Dorothy, Saint Dorothy, Saint Dorothy, Ora pro no. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. By your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Dorothy overcame every bodily torment 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Dorothy, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven and we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Dorothy, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. The Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of the world and 
Jesus Behold the Lamb of God, this is Jesus. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. song, A Place at Your Table.
to dine The saint and the sinner, your friends Now reconciled in this banquet divine The promise of life without end The promise of life without end at your table, a place at your table, from this communion in one heart and mind, out into mission we go.
place at your table from this communion in one heart and mind out into mission we go no greater love shall the world ever find and none shall we shall we ever know Here in your presence the greatest armies the burden find rest and the hungry can feast by love we're inviting here mercy prevails God in your goodness we a place at your table, a place at your table. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made by your blessed martyr, Dorothy, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's say a prayer for vocations. God our Father, we thank you for calling men and women to serve in your Son's kingdom as priests, deacons, and consecrated persons. Send your Holy Spirit to help others to respond generously and courageously to your call. May our community of faith support vocations of sacrificial love in our youth and young adults. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. Um, we have a couple of announcements from our Principal Mrs. Ferguson, we have to make a conference before. (laughs) 
Good morning, Bruins. And good morning, St. Dorothy family. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Feast of St. Dorothy. Um, students, Student Council is selling heart grams during lunch this week. Grams are $1 and will be delivered on Valentine's Day. The St. Dorothy Parish Annual Dinner Dance and Auction, which is a Mardi Gras, is just a couple of weeks away. We hope you will join us on February 18th at the Glendora Country Club for an evening of fun. Students, this isn't for you. All ticket information can be found on both the church and school website. Family, if you have a four or five-year-old, Mrs. Ornelas and Mrs. Chittister are hosting a TK and kindergarten information night. They will be sharing everything you need to know about starting your little one's academic career at St. Dorothy's. Please join us this Wednesday, February 8th at 5.30 p.m. in the kindergarten classroom. I'm going to tell you not to forget to wash your hands and stay safe. But Father has an announcement. I just want to say thank you for everybody who has been present here with us today, for the incredible music always, for the wonderful help of the altar servers, for those who have gifted us um, with proclaiming the word with the clergy that's here, for everybody um, also that is here. And then we just had a conference up here. On occasion, the pastor and the, and the principal sit down and we arm wrestle over a couple of things. And usually on feast days or on birthdays, you get some sort of a gift, right? Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if not only if we got the gift of Jesus' love, but what if we decided no homework today? I know, oh, I know, they don't I know sound too excited that. about it, so Yeah? All right, all right. But you but you still have to continue and study hard, be good in classes, and always listen to the teachers and always listen to your parents. And then an announcement for everyone else, um, as this Mass concludes, um, bear with us and um, we're going to have Eucharistic adoration all day long until our 6 o'clock Mass this evening. Uh, it's going to take us about 15 minutes to prepare for that as we go um, get the Eucharist and we prepare the altar. So um, please remain with us to um, adore Christ in the, in the Blessed Sacrament and I believe all the, the classes will be leaving and they will be visiting throughout the day. So please rise. The Lord be with you. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Please join us in singing our closing song for all the saints. saints who from their labors rest who you by faith before the world confess your name O oh Jesus be forever blessed Alleluia Alleluia Oh blessed communion fellowship Oh, bless. Oh. 